become another breed. There live people who love nature, cultivate their soil, and plant in their own food and resources. They are the great food with it. They are farmers who play a role in the life of the
famous bar whose wife had passed away years ago after delivering a beautiful baby. He named her Bawang Puti. Bawang Puti is really beautiful and kind heart. She always obeyed Anderson to her father. One day, her father told her that he had planned to marry a woman. Bawang Puti was happy to hear that since she never experienced how it felt like a mother. Bawang Puti, I have something to say. Yes, Father, I'm listening. It's been worse since we lost our beloved one, my wife, your mother. I think I cannot be alone anymore. I need someone, someone I can trust to take care of this house. And you, when I leave for business trips. I understand your concern. I need to have someone to share my Hopefully, I find a person, my dear. I hope so, Father. A few months later, Bawang Puti's father married a woman who also had a dog named Bawang Merah. Bawang Puti was really excited to know that she would have not only a mother, but also a sister. And for another day, Bawang Merah and her mother were not as good as Bawang Puti though. They show kindness only in front of her father. Whenever her father was not around, but of the treat her like a servant. Bawang Puti was so sad, but luckily she had many friends in the village who cared for her.
I will go for this mystery for several weeks. Please take care of each other. My wife, please drink bawang putih like your own daughter. And bawang merah, please drink bawang putih like your own sister. Of course, my husband. I will take a good care of her, as I do for bawang merah. Yes, father. Don't worry about it. Bawang putih, treat them like your mother and sister too. You are a good daughter. Yes, father. I will. I have to go now. Take care, my husband. Take care, father. <laughs> hey, don't you dare think that I'm your mother. I'm not. Yes, you are not my sister. We come here to live comfortably. So, please take care of yourself and this house. I will be busy taking care of myself, my body, my face, and everything related to me. So, you have to clean up the house, cook, and serve food, wash clothes, and do other household chores. Why are you still standing here? You have many things to do. Go, get the chores done. We will go do our own business. Ha ha ha. Wang Putih's father came home after food. He was sick. As the day go by, his condition was getting worse and worse. In the end, he passed away. Bawang Putih was so heartbroken. Meanwhile, Bawang Mera and her mother were really happy they can control everything in the house. They did not have to pretend to be kind to Bawang Putih anymore.
want to be what took you so long to clean the house? My clothes are all dirty. Wash them. <laughs> yes, I will go to the river to wash them. Go home right after you have washed them. Someone has to prepare and serve food for dinner. Let me do it, Dampote. It's okay, Mbo. I will do it. You are too old for this. How beautiful you are, Dampote. I'm really sorry that I can't help you. It's okay, Mbo. You are here now and it is really a four for me. I will go to wash these clothes now. Take care. I, I will clean up the house. Thank you, Mbo. Bawang Puti was washing clothes in the river when suddenly one of his car got washed away. Bawang Puti was in panic. She could not imagine what her mother would do to her if she could not bring it home. So, she decided to follow the stream and find her car. She asked everyone. She met her the river, but they did not know about the stuff. She knocked on the door of a small house in the jungle, where the stream flowed into a waterfall of inspiration. There lived an old lady from Bojamu. Luckily, the Bojamu said that she had to stop. She knew it would starve in one condition. Bawang Puti had to help her make and sell jamu for three days. Bawang Puti agreed. Excuse me. Yes, it's a girl. How can I help? I'm so sorry to deserve you. I am Babang Puti. I'm here looking for a red scarf. I was washing it in the river, and the river suddenly carried my scarf away. Have you seen it? Hmm, a red scarf? Yes, a red scarf. It's my mother. She will get mad at me if I can't bring it back home. I think I have been. Really? C can I have it back? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you, Mbo. I will give it back to you with one condition. What is it? You have to help me for three days first. Hmm, that's not an easy condition. Choice is in your hands. Okay, how, how can I help you for three days? You have to clean my house, cook, and serve it for me. Wash my clothes and make and sell jamu with me. Jamu? Yes, because many people in this village eat jamu to stay healthy. Alright, Bo, I will do it. Bawang Puti stay at Book Jamu's house. She learned to make and sell jamu around the village. Bawang Puti did her best to help Bo Jamu. Bo Jamu was really delighted, pleased with Bawang Puti's attitude. Bo Jamu then gave the scarf back to her. She also gave her a big pumpkin. She asked Bo Puti not to open the pumpkin before she arrived home. Bawang Puti obey what Bo Jamu said.
to destroy them with my house. You are so helpful. Thank you for everything. Here, I give you my gift card. Thank you, Mbojamu. I want to thank you for all the life lessons I got here. I learned to make jamu and sell to the people in the village. It's been a really big lesson for me. Since you put all of your effort in helping me, it's a pumpkin for you. It's really kind of you, Mbojamu. Thank you. You deserve it, Mbojamu. But please do not open it until you reach home. I will do so. Goodbye, Auntie Kim. Goodbye, and get to Mama Kiki. Bawang Puti is really happy today. After three days of helping Boy Jamu, Bawang Puti is allowed to go home. When she arrived home, her mother and sister were really mad at her. Since she had been away for too long, Bawang Puti told them the whole story. They grabbed a pumpkin for her and their ugly candy. There were a lot of jewelry inside the pumpkin. Let them want it more. Serpent! Serpent! Hmm. Where did she go? Yes, Ndoro. Where have you been? I'm sorry, Ndoro. I was feeding the ducks and chickens. I'm home. Oh, thank God you are back. Yes, Bo, I'm home. I'm so happy to see you again. Where have you been for past three days? I'm so sorry, Mother. I lost your scarf when I was watching it in the river. I went looking it by following the string. I met an old lady who lives in the jungle. And she happened to find the scarf. She would not give it back to me if I don't agree with the condition. She asked so I had to stay there after for three days. Since today is the third day, she let me go back home with the scarf and this big pumpkin. This must be a great compensation for leaving the house for three days. Oh my god! Look at what's inside. It's kind of her to give this. This mine, Bawang Puti. This is to pay for your absence. Mom, why don't we do what Bawang Puti did? We throw a scarf into the river and then we can pick it up at the old lady's house. We'll go there, do what she asks, and we'll go home with another pumpkin. Great idea! How clever you are, my daughter! I am! I will go to the river. You have to take care of all household chores while I'm not around. I don't feel what they are doing is right, Mom. Let them be well for them. They will pay the price of their action. The one Mera and her mother ran to the river. They threw a scar into the river and followed the stream. There in the jungle, they found a small house just like Bawang Puti described in her story. They knocked on the door and met the old lady, Bob Jam. Bawang Mera and her mother explained about this car. Bob Jam told them she had this car. And if they want to have it back, they have to help her for a week. Excuse me, Bo. Yes, young lady. How can I help? We lost our scarf in the river. Have you seen it? 
I think I have it. You must have it. Sorry, Mom. Pardon me. No, but it's nothing. Can we have it back? Yes, but with one condition. Yes, Ma, we will do it. Whatever the condition is, you have to help me make and sell jambu to the people in the village for a week. What? Why a week? Yes, Ma, we will do it. Do it well or you will get bad luck. Bawang Merah was really upset with the wind a lot of them. She was so arrogant with the people in the village, which led them to treat her differently than Bawang Merah. They then followed Jamu's house with their horses. They asked what they were going to do with Bawang Merah and her mother from staying in the village.
choose us for your group? Yes, young man. How can I help you? We come here to ask you a favor. What is it? Remove them from here. They don't belong in this village with that kind of attitude. I don't even like this woman. Did you see it, Bob? She's really arrogant. Yes, Bob. It's obvious that they don't deserve their kindness. I don't need anything. Quiet, Bobmera. I'm sorry. She may just be too shocked to live here. Since she'd never done anything like this before. Alright, okay. I will talk to them. Please leave it to me. And you, Bo, we will live. I'm sorry, but I have to ask you to go home now. But are you going to give our scarf back? Yes, for sure. For it is not mine. Here is your scarf. Thank you, Mo. Here is a pumpkin for me. Please do not cut it before you arrive home. We'll do that, Mo. Thank you. were really happy to receive the pumpkin. They could not wait to see what's inside. On the way home, they cut the pumpkin, disobeying Bukjamu's message. When they opened it, snakes and babies, tarantulas, and other poisonous animals came out. The animal ate Tawang Mera and her mother. Reading the poison, no one could help them since they were deep in the jungle. Mom, I can't wait to open this. Me too. Let's open it now. Mom, what's this? Ouch! The spider bit me. Ouch! Snake! The Wamera and her mother ran and ran, finally reaching their house. But by the time they reached home, ghosts had spread, and they were in really bad condition. Bawang Putih and servant took care of them. Bawang Putih gave them jamu that can help them recover from the severe condition they were in. After several days, Bawang Mera and her mother got better. They were really overwhelmed because Bawang Putih still helped them, even though they were really poor and mean. Oh, no. 
first in need by giving them food and clothes. Everyone in the village from Bawang Putih, Bawang Merah, and their mother.
happy dan senang hari ini dan jangan lupa parents kami mohonkan feedbacknya untuk acara school performance kita hari ini parents bisa mengirim feedback tentang acara hari ini melalui WhatsApp sekolah dan dapat dikirimkan pada hari Senin oke okay, parents oke okay, thank you so uh, baiklah dan untuk sekedar informasi nanti tahun depan juga kami masih ada satu acara lagi yakni culture bazaar dengan tema yang sama Java Land dan mungkin akan diselenggarakan di sekitar bulan April jadi masih ada acara lain selain acara lagi. dan demikianlah pementasan drama bawang merah bawang putih hari ini saya akan tutup pementasan hari ini dengan memanggil seluruh performance dan kru pementasan kita hari ini baiklah siap-siap tepuk tangannya ya parents ya oke okay? oke okay. okay. so beri tepuk tangan yang meriah untuk padang bulan